Nikki Chapman, 56, has said goodbye to her early morning listeners as her time on her breakfast show comes to an end. The Radio 2 presenter that it was the last time she would be sitting in the hot seat or should that be damn early seat. The former pop idol judge has left her current slot in the wake of veteran stars like Vanessa Feltz, Paul O'Grady, Ken Bruce and Steve Wright leaving the station altogether, making way for new and younger presenters, including former Radio 1 DJ Scott Mills and comedian Rob Beckett. Nikki's announcement comes as listeners get used to major changes at Radio 2, amid claims of the BBC's ongoing purge of older presenters, but the broadcaster revealed she will remain at Radio 2. Nikki, who is also well known for hosting Escape to the Country, has been a regular host on the station over the years, regularly filling in for Zoe Ball on The Breakfast Show and Vanessa Feltz on Early Breakfast. Taking to Twitter on February 10, she penned, Friday finale. Last time sitting in the hot seat or should that be damn early seat on at Radio 2. Massive thanks to all the fabulous late shifters, truckers and early birds who have let me be part of this wonderful community at Silly O'Clock and for your lovely messages today. Nikki was quick to assure listeners that she is still a part of the Radio 2 family. Twitter user Ruth Clark quizzed, last time ever? I love the skirt by the way. Nikki clarified, last time covering early breakfast but pleased to say still part of the R2 family. The radio presenter was back on the airwaves on Valentine's Day as she filled in on the Zoe Ball breakfast show. Taking to the microblogging site on February 14, she told her 41,000 followers, back on at Radio 2 Early Doors tomorrow, sitting in for Zoe on the breakfast show. Join me from 6.30 a.m. Our special guest on a Wednesday, author, podcaster and actor at Mrs. Guy Fletcher. It comes after the BBC faced criticism from listeners for supposedly purging its golden oldie presenters. Christina Hendricks lead stars at Vivian Westwood Memorial Service latest Denise Welch blasts disgraceful remarks about missing Nicola Bully Twitter Amanda Holden wows in tiny bikini as she celebrates 52nd birthday pictures, columnist Karen Brady recently said the news that BBC Radio 2 has lost listeners recently as satisfying. Listening figures released earlier this month revealed Radio 2 is reported to have lost just over half a million listeners over 12 months amid the changes, down 3. 9%. The Apprentice regular blamed this on the likes of stars Ken, Steve and Paul being swept aside for younger names. Karen claimed in The Sun on Sunday, it looks like Radio 2's purge of the old timers has backfired. It feels like the most short-sighted of decisions. After all, younger people don't even listen to the radio. They, Radio 2, have tried to fix what wasn't broken, the BBC star said. They have changed presenters to appeal to an audience that does not exist. It has since been revealed that Radio 2's breakfast show, presented by Zoe Ball, has lost the most weekly listeners among the BBC's breakfast shows. The total was down 359,000 in the last quarter of last year, compared with the same period in 2021.